The light is fabulous. I should not be this perky for 7 a.m. So I am vlogging this weekend because I have a load of plans and ofs. It's the England final at the Euros, which hasn't happened since 1966. Am I right? Hey! <laughs> so I've come down to Jessica and Freddie's house. Um, they're basically, if you follow my sister Jessica on Instagram, Jess Rose Parr, they've been doing a renovation for about three months now and it's almost over so i've come down to have a look and then we're all heading to the beach today in true english yes. style it's only going to be 19 degrees but it'll be a lovely day out for the dogs and i thought i'd take you along with me other plans this weekend involve a birthday party obviously the england final and just general summer vibes i styled my hair accordingly as well had a bit of a nightmare last night though i had a late tennis lesson and got an uber down to jessica in kingston well i missed my 9 30 train i wasn't gonna get in for ages so i was like oh god i'll just treat myself to an uber seven cancellations because i had the dog in the end i had to book an addison lee because the last uber guy refused to cancel the booking so I drove around my house for 17 minutes so i couldn't rebook just to avoid a cancellation fee I mean, I don't mean to open the vlog on a negative note, but every time I use an Uber, I'm just disappointed. It was the whole Superfruits collection, the orange butters and the green stuff, to launch like a match at IG, and they sent a fruit basket and a bottle of night in. Oh, I love that. It was so sweet. And some crisps. And, no, no, they've got a picnic. <laughs> um, and they donated 200 meals to people in London going hungry, and every time you buy one of the products, um, this summer, they donate another 10 meals with every purchase, which I think is amazing. Not sponsored, guys. Jessica's just really Not happy. Sponsored, really, <laughs> really happy. So, I can't remember the last time that we were all on video together. Probably last Christmas. February. Oh, the Edinburgh vlog. Did I do an Edinburgh vlog? Remember the, the trip, the work job we did? Oh yeah, I did a vlog. Pre-pandemic times, baby. Just for any new followers, or in case you've forgotten, this is Alice. The youngest sister, she's the Paleo Peach, I'll link her Instagram below, and then Jess, Jess Rose Pie, I've already mentioned her, she's got YouTube too. Freddie doesn't have anything, he's just here. I'm off the grid. He's, he's off the, the grid. grid. He got, he got like 1,500 taps on his name yesterday on my story. <laughs> Always <laughs> happens. <laughs> right, profile, but you're yes. like, uh, not posted since 2017. <laughs> so today we're going to the beach with Juno and Winnie. Juno and Winnie are pretty much the same age, like one year, five months. Winnie loves the beach, Juno doesn't love the beach, but we're hoping to break her in today. Actually, this video is sponsored by Vets Now. Um, they have actually partnered with me to highlight some of the dangers that actually exist for dogs on beaches. Okay, so I think I'm all packed. Yeah. Juno's water bowl and food bowl, some snacks for luring her back, Chili's bottle, ball to throw, trashy summer novel, change of outfit for the wine tasting later. Yep, sounds good. Let's go. Ready for the beach. To me, and it's like when you know it's not your own. Like, that's, that's definitely not winning. She loves that. Do you know you enjoying the car ride for once? No, nope, absolutely hates it. Winnie, how you doing back there, Wins? Winnie, we're at the beach. Yes, we are. Yeah. Just arrived at West Whittering Beach. I've actually been here before. I si Freddie just reminded me I cycled. I was going to say cycled from London here. That didn't happen. I went to uh, Chichester Railway Station, did a 30-minute bike ride to the beach to meet my friend last summer. It was really, really lovely. But there are no cycle lanes, so just be aware of that if you're going to do it. But yeah, it's so nice to be back and. It's 10 a.m. and it's 21 degrees, baby. Alice and Jessica have brought their leftover poor boys uh, fried chicken takeaway. So good. Oh, looks amazing. Yeah, I see you licking your lips, Juno. I'm going to have a bit of brisket. Mm, Make sure you dip you. it in their homemade barbecue sauce. Make sure I do that. Make sure I dip it. Mm. A wee chicken tender. Oh, wow. Can't beat a bit of brisket, mate.
finished up at the beach and now we have been invited very kindly by Jessica's in-laws Shout out Cindy and Trevor <laughs> um, <laughs> To their like gorgeous home, the garden's sunny, the weather is gorgeous We've got this amazing spread to eat Honestly, feel, I know it's Friday but, and I've checked my emails a few times But I honestly feel like I'm on holiday And this is the summer I've been missing, Hi. yo! Also, I've got this gorgeous new dress on from H&M and I'm living for it. So, all of this and then we're heading off to a wine tasting that Jessica has organised. A sparkling, English sparkling wine tasting. Perfect summer in July. Chef's kiss. So, we've just arrived at Tinwood, which is a sparkling wine vineyard in, well, it's just outside Chichester. Jessica's arranged this for us. Oh, yeah. It's a, a wine tasting and cheese board. And it's the last leg of our day, yeah. which so feels we, like a never-ending summer day. So yeah, we are on the last leg of our day around Wait, Sussex, and we Excellent. are now doing a wine tasting at Tinwood. Freddie and I went a couple of weeks ago, loved it so much. We have taken Emily and Alice back. Literally, my script with her, yeah, own, her own bit tagged on the end. <laughs> Big fan of champagne, but you know English sparkling wine was really having a moment, so I'm excited for this. Also, it was only £25, obviously I haven't done it yet, but just was raving about it, so expecting big things. day out in Chichester honestly and I think I've said it already it's just such a great day like it did feel like it never was never ending but I didn't want it to end I was gonna go back to Jessica's and stay the night and do another night on the sofa but then I was like do you know what? I just really want I do want my own bed and it was like an hour and a half train ride so I did get a taxi back but it was worth it Juno slept the whole way, normally she gets car sick and it's like really fussy in cars but I think she'd just been in them non-stop all day, she was just used to it, she's exhausted and I'm exhausted too but it's really just nice to be home um, so I can get up tomorrow on Saturday and just feel like I've got the whole day rather than travelling back in the morning you know but yeah it was such an amazing day, we were so blessed with the weather, it's just so lovely down there in Chichester West Wishing Beach, one of the best beaches in the UK by far and it's dog friendly and they've got loads of little private coves if you walk like 10 more minutes down the main drag. The wine tasting was so good. Everyone's always raving about English sparkling wine and how it's just like totally arrived for champagne. And I tasted three amazing Tinwood sparkling English wines today. And honestly, I can't say I like them any less than I like champagne. I even bought a bottle to take home for myself. Um, so I really recommend it if you're in the area, going down, doing it, you can bring dogs, tour of the vineyard, history of how they make their wines and tastings with cheese. It's lovely. I'll link it down below in the description. So yeah, looking forward to a really long deep sleep because I feel like I've been a little bit sleep starved this week. So I'm gonna turn the camera off and go to sleep. Morning guys. So it's about half nine. I guess that's a decent line. I kind of hoped I would be in bed till about 10ish. Um, just because I'm kind of catch up on sleep that I didn't have this week. So the weather's looking like a little bit average today. Um, my friend Liv, it's her birthday party. We were all going to be in Brighton for it. But she's changed the plans and now we're just going to her flat in Brixton. So I've got that later in round three. But first I've got tennis camp. Yeah, I'm back in tennis camp. Which just reminds me of when I was like 10. And that's the only other time I've done tennis lessons in my life. But then when we moved here um, back in January, there's tennis courts like two streets away. And I was like, do you know what? I really want to get back into tennis. I don't do any sporty hobbies at all. I do like yoga, Pilates, that sort of thing. So I was like, it would be really good for my cardio also. My muscles. Um, but yeah, I'm just enjoying it so much. Like I'm not great at it. I've had about 11 hours of one-on-one -on -one coaching and I've started tennis camp today just three sessions just to kind of do like drills and stuff and it's in a group and it's a little bit further away so i'm gonna cycle later so i'm actually drinking decaf coffee these days actually quit caffeine well i know decaf has like the tiniest bit of caffeine in it but i quit regular coffee three months ago in a bid to kind of like even out my hormones and i'd like to say it worked i'm a lot calmer my anxiety is a lot better on the downside my tits have disappeared i guess that's because all of the excess estrogen inside of me has just been 
pulled out and I did that with something called the Beam Protocol. Um, I used it very loosely. Um, it's a very powerful um, homeopathic sort of food, whole foods based protocol. Nothing crazy, no, no medications, no supplements, like really natural, just eating good foods and it rebalances your system. So yeah, it's been really great, but now I'm like very relaxed about it, but I'm still drinking the decaf because I honestly think this, this has made me feel a lot better just on the day to day. Although I do miss the taste of strong coffee. I'll just show anyone who's a bit of a coffee snob, like me, the coffee that I've been drinking. This is called Kiss the Hippo. It's like a really like carbon negative, eco-friendly, ethical coffee company. And they do a really good decaf. So I actually use this in the V60 and do my coffee every day. Nate's still comes out of my very expensive machine, which I no longer use. But yeah, I was scared about going on to decaf. I thought I would be on like terrible instant coffee, but this has been really good. Hello everybody. Uh, Juno is just joining me for a quick ad break here on this vlog. She'd much rather be sleeping on the cool floor, I'm sure. It's a balmy 28 degrees here in London today and she's looking very dozy indeed. Like she's not had enough naps today. So today's sponsor is actually Video Vets Now, a service launched by Vets Now, who are the UK's leading pet emergency services. Video Vets Now was launched in 2020 last year and it's an amazing video consultation service. So what that means is wherever you are in the country, no matter what you're doing, if you need to access a vet because you've got um, a concern about your pet, then you can do through this Video Vets Now service. It operates from 8 a.m. to 11 p.m. and is only 24 pounds a consultation which is redeemable should your puppy, kitten or pet need to actually go into clinic to see a registered vet. Oh, do you mind? Last year when we got Juno, we were very nervous new pet owners and the slightest snivel or sneeze or like odd behavior, we wanted to put our minds at rest and actually used to end up calling the vets quite a lot to try and get through to them and speak to a registered vet because we just wanted to put our mind at ease. We wanted to make sure Juno was fine. It would have been absolutely amazing had we known about the Video Vets Now service last year because it would have saved us a lot of time having to go into clinic only to be told that it was like a seasonal allergy or she's fine she just needs a bit of rest or it's just you know normal puppy growing pains what the video vets now service offers is a link up straight to a registered vet for 24 pounds and should they look at your pet and decide that actually yes they do need to go into clinic then that 24 pounds is fully refundable but yeah it's just a peace of mind really for me like certainly when Juno was a baby I just wanted to know she was okay and it's just such a great great accessible idea. So yeah, I just think it's an amazing sponsor. I'm really happy to be telling you guys about it. I know a lot of people are getting pets now that they're staying at home a lot more and it's just something I wish I knew about back when I got Juno. Isn't that right? I will leave all the information that I've just spoken about down below and a link to the Video Vets Now site so you can read up more on the service. Okay, you can go back to sleep now. Go on. Go on. <sighs> When I bought this bike, they were like, yeah, it's lightweight, lightweight bike. Definitely isn't. Complete lie. Oh, hi. Huh. Where's Nate then, if you're here on your own? <sighs> hey, Juno. Hi, Poppy. Hello. You've been sleeping on our bed. I actually applied for a bike hanger spot, which, if you guys aren't in London, they're like basically public bike sheds that sit outside your house and you get like an automatic key fob to get in it basically means you can store your bike outside your house i applied for one they're like gold dust in london and i got given one within a week because the bike hanger outside our house is new but i'm still waiting for my electronic key fob which i paid 60 quid for but yeah it'll be so nice when i have to lug this through the house and basically end up scraping all the paintwork don't mind you know it's a mess it's a mess, isn't it, Juno? It's a complete mess. Up, up, up. Oh, thank you. Mm, mm, mm. Keep going. So those of you that have followed my YouTube for a while and you like watch my vlogs and stuff, you'll know that it's quite a while since I did my last one. I think about a month. And then before that, maybe another month. But that's because I'm running my new business, my female entrepreneur network and online membership club called The She Brief. I'll put it in the description box if anybody's interested in what that is. It's basically a membership on a digital membership for female entrepreneurs and small business owners. It's taking up a lot of my time, but I'm slowly building my team up and I found a new assistant who is shit hot on the website side of things, which is great, which is just what I'm looking for. My friend Emily is still managing all of our expert and production side of things. And last month, we finally got a community manager 
this has been a game changer for me. A community manager, for those who don't know, is basically somebody who manages the social media for a business. It can be everything and it can be just commenting and engagement. Leash is her name. She does uh, all the strategy for us every month. And me and Sade, my assistant, we just like populate with graphic design and captions and that sort of thing. She oversees all the posting. And I cannot tell you how much of a weight it is off my shoulders that somebody is managing that side of the business now because before I was doing all of my Emily Valentine stuff and the She Brief and it was just like, how on earth does anybody run two social media accounts? I have no idea. But I definitely wasn't managing at all. So it's really great that she's come on board and she's helping and hopefully it means I'm freed up for more time to actually do my YouTube and that sort of thing. But yeah, the business is only four months old either. I feel like it's at least a year old. I've been working on it for almost a year in September, in October. But yeah, we've only been launched four months. 140 members, it's pretty cool. But yeah, it's much more work than I ever anticipated. I'll be completely honest. Like when I decided to do an online membership, I was like, oh, this is gonna be an amazing form of passive income. And like memberships are, you essentially get people to sign up and then they pay you every month to be a part of your group and receive all your content and do all of your workshops. But I seriously underestimated the amount of work that goes into like production, managing all of the experts that come on, the graphic design side of it, the social media engagement, all of that. It's just crazy. So I've actually ended up giving myself more work. So I really need to think about how the team's gonna build from here. So it means I'm not sort of like overwhelmed, continue to be overwhelmed and I like hopefully get to a place where I'm making money from it. And it was all worth it because at the moment, you know, it's all self-funded. Um, I think I've spent about 30,000 pounds on it so far that includes wages and all everything website build and at the moment i pay my staff i put a little bit towards charity i take absolutely no profit at the moment which is normal for new businesses but apparently memberships should become profitable within the first year so we're only four months in but yeah that's kind of what's been going on behind the scenes when i've not been on my emily valentine instagram youtube blog by the way if anyone is wondering what this bruise is i had something called profilo in the week it's like a deep moisturizing treatment for the skin they inject hyaluronic acid which isn't filler or botox it's like a deep deep moisturizing jelly it just basically moisturizes the skin underneath the surface and it lasts like six months i'm not seeing any results yet but results can take up to two weeks and you do have to have two sessions but if you do want to know more about that head over to my facials highlight because i have a review there but it's it's a really nice treatment hurt like a motherfucker but hopefully it'll be worth it but yeah that explains the bruise in case anyone was wondering i was just bitching about the fact that nate didn't go up picking my parcels but look <laughs> Someone's a good boy. I'm not really sure how I missed them when I came in, to be honest. True to form, I'm running quite late. Liv's birthday party got changed from her house in Brixton to Anissa's house in West London. It takes me like 30 minutes to get to Brixton. It takes me an hour and a half to get to Anissa's. So I need to set off really soon. Otherwise, I'm going to be very late. But anyway, I just uh, had a shower. I've done my makeup. It's just really simple, glowy. Like I've done like a little bit of a dark... Uh, well, like, like a wash of brown on my lid, which is just kind of my go-to eye look when I want something that's just kind of done, but not really done at all. It's like zero effort. I use this really cute little MAC paint pot, they're called. I'll actually show you which one I use, because if you've got blue eyes, and it is the kind of colour that suits every single eye colour, but if you've got blue eyes, then it's just really, just that really perfect shade. It's called Groundwork. It's this one. I'll link it down below, but it's just like my everyday saviour basically. I was gonna do my hair but actually I'm just gonna let it naturally dry into its waves and I've got my new Kitri jumpsuit on. I thought I would show you guys. I can't show you all here but that's the top. I have had one dress from Kitri before and it was really good quality. They're quite a sustainable brand, not 100% but they do try their best and I think this jumpsuit, I just saw it on um, Instagram. I've been shopping off Instagram so much lately, like I'm a sucker for their ads. It's getting worse. But yeah, I bought this off their website and yeah, it's so cute. I think I might have a little discount code because when I made the order, they said, if you've got any friends that want 20 pounds off Kitri, here's an email for them. So I'll link that below because if you guys have, wanna have a look at their stuff, they've got some really cute dresses and jumpsuits on there and you get 20 pounds off your first order. Not an affiliate thing, it's just something that when I bought the jumpsuit they offered me so I guess I'll just offer it to you guys but yeah so cute I'm 165 centimeters five foot five and for once the jumpsuit is perfect length on me like it hits the ankle just right so I'm really glad it's not overly long because I thought I might have a alteration situation on my hand but yeah really happy with it here we have 
Yeah. Two of my favorite people, Liv and Darren. <laughs> Sarah, Sarah is my blessed photographer. She me to be her friend. Ah! You're so rude! Me and Sarah work together. Have you seen um, my professional <laughs> pictures on Instagram? Just in that Non-phone non non pics is what I mean. Yeah. Sarah's taken them. Sarah just told me that she's no longer coming to Leighton to vote. No, I'm not leaving it. Unless she gets paid for cars. She's paying for my Uber because honestly, I have to time it right on the DLR. And I can't do it on my lip. Stop gyrating on me. I moved you to I moved you to East London. And Sarah's like, Emily, you're my furthest away client. I can't service you anymore. And then I find out. She's got a client down the road from me. Yeah, but it's not. Down the road from me on what? It's 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 like, it doesn't feel like a trip when we go to the you got to time it right, love. Time it. I'll time it right next time. So this is the birthday girl. Liv is 27 yesterday, two days ago. You are not Oh. But Liv is really good at making cocktails, so what have we got today? We've got a want-to-be mojito, but it's called the Liv, Liv Hito because I made, I put in it what I wanted. So what, why are you starting with a soup spoon? Uh, oh. Look, this is what Anissa gave me, this is what I tell you. We've got some gin, we've got some lime cordial, we've got some honey, we've got some mint, and we've got some lime, and we've got some soda water. I thought the last one you did with pineapple juice was amazing. It didn't go down very well with everyone else though, and I have to cater to the masses. Oh. Fair enough. Spoken like a true marketeer. <laughs> really? <laughs> We've been waiting all day for ice, ice, baby. Ice is here, finally. Woo! Cheers! Hi. Cheers to that, can I have some please? Cheers. I haven't got any yet. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Don't waste the ice. Oh, oh okay. 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 Oh, that'll oh. do. That might have dirt on it. Ice! Yeah. Everyone is very excited in my house today. Good morning everybody. It is Sunday. The sun is shining and it's the England final. Well, we've already made history because England has never actually been in a Euro final before. So, already good vibes. The weather is shining for us. It's literally so nice and warm outside. And for some reason, I have escaped a hangover. Not really sure how that happened because whenever I get together with Anissa and Liv, it's always absolute chaos, especially when Liv starts making her custom cocktails. But my camera died about 10 o'clock last night. So I was actually home and in bed by one o'clock, which I think is really good going, especially since Anissa lives the other side of London to me. Got a new fresh white linen shirt on. Me and Nate have just been out for coffee. I've got a bagel. My sisters are in South London. They're gonna be traveling up today to meet me. We've still not finalized our plans for where we're gonna watch the match. As you can imagine, all of the local pubs are booked out, but luckily Nate's advertising firm have a pub that they are like affiliated with. And although it's usually shut on Sundays, they've agreed to open it for a select few people at his work. So I think at the moment we're gonna go there. It's in central London. and I know that Alice is really keen to like be in all the atmosphere. I'm not sure if you saw any of the paper articles or like online media about <laughs> the last week's win, but it was absolute chaos in central. I'm a little bit like, Ooh, it's gonna be really exciting, but also like, don't wanna catch COVID. But I think I'll get my sisters up. I think we'll have some food. We'll, I'll probably show them the area. Alice has never been to my house before, so I need to kind of show her. And then, yeah, we'll put our England tops on and go watch the game. Ooh. Do you know, look away if you think England are gonna win. Ah, oh, that's what I thought. Tell me what's in the fanny pack. Water. And? An oat bar. An oat bar. England shirt. And an England shirt. <laughs> the day's essentials. The local bagel place to me is so good. I got the classic bagel today, which is salmon and cream cheese and capers my absolute favorite is capers in a bagel vinegary madness so Juno gets these like mind puzzle games and she's gone through all of them but this one she's had for a few months now because she hasn't quite mastered it I have to kind of give it a nudge so do you know what's this good girl go on then go on yes yes good girl 
The drawers are locked. She has to align the bones before she can open the drawer and get the treats, basically. Sometimes she forgets about this and she just pulls this. But yeah, this one is really, um, I think it's a level four and they go up to level five, these things. But they're really good. No, Juno, remember, what's this? Well, that's it, good girl. Now you can do the drawer. Good girl, well done. I was round at Anissa's last night and she's got like a, I think he's six months old now. Cocker Spaniel, working Cocker Spaniel, and he's just like in a hyper puppy phase. I sat with him for a few minutes and I taught him how to find the treat in your hand and like to sniff it out and then tell you which one he thinks the treat's in. And then I taught him to twirl as well. That was in five minutes when I was drunk. Like sometimes I seriously think I'm a dog whisperer. I love training dogs so much. Oh, you did it, you did it, good girl. Go on then. Yes, good girl. Guys, I don't know what sort of stamina I had this morning, but it's completely disappeared with the sunshine. I've been scrolling through TikTok and Instagram on the sofa for about an hour after doing a little bit of gardening. Jessica and Alice are due in one hour, and me and Gina are just like, done in. We're done. I just want to stay in and watch movies and eat popcorn with dairy milk buttons running throughout it. That's what I want to do. I have to go watch the England game. It's five o'clock, I've cleaned the house. Jessica and Alice are running two hours late because the person that was supposed to take Winnie, Jessica's dog, just didn't show up. So they left Winnie now and they're on their way, but it does take an hour and a half from there, that side of London to get to me. I'm watching the tennis. Nate's back preparing his memorabilia for the event. So you've drawn a wolf logo onto the England flag. It's for Connor Cody, really, you know? So, I mean, someone's got to show him some love on there. Has he even been playing this year? No, he hasn't played a single minute. <laughs> Nate's a Wolves fan, so this is this explains the wolf on the England. Some good colouring in, babe. Yeah, I'm going for it. Too bad you got it on my table. <laughs> Come out of that. <laughs> Here they come! England! England! <laughs> <laughs> Girls are here, we're just having some pre-match pizza and vino. Just talking about how apparently you can choose what sex of baby you have based on um you can time you can increase your odds. Yeah. You can increase your odds. No guarantee. X swim X sperm swimmers, which is the X chromosome, the girl chromosome, they're lazier, so if you have sex two days before ovulation, and I'm not giving up contraception advice, conception advice here, but the ex swimmers are lazier, so they'll get there slower. So if you have sex two days before ovulating, the Ys will have died off, and the girls will arrive. So the girls will arrive. Girls walk late, so true. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And we only want girl babies. That's not true. I love a boy. But you want a girl guaranteed. Be a girl would love a boy. Exactly. Don't know if I want a baby. All right. She's all a different point. I'll be a good auntie to boys or girls. <laughs> We're gonna have missed all the action on the tube because everybody who actually cares about football will already be at the pub in situ. We are rolling in late, but fashionably <laughs> late. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he, yeah. Does. He, does. he does! He does! He doesn't miss! 
the Italy now for now. He's shitting himself!